Minutes ago, the CDC director addressed concerns about the new COVID variant. This comes after numerous reports were reported in numerous cities across the United States. Omega is said to be 10 times more infectious than the Omicron variant. The CDC has advised the public to remain calm and to not panic as the CDC is knowing more about this variant. この家に住む渡辺宏容疑者が散弾銃を持って医師の鈴木純一さんを人質にとって立てこ。致命的なコロナウイルス変異が感染性であることが発見され、現在、日本の大阪で致命的なものが広がっています。誰もが所定の場所に避難することをお勧めします。すべての窓とドアを閉め、安全になるまで屋外に出ないでください。変異型に感染した人間は、近くの人間や動物を攻撃すると言われています。感染した人はすぐに根絶する必要があります。今のところ治療法や治療法はありません。政府はスプレッドを封じ込めるためにあらゆることをしている。The biggest U.S. military base abroad is being evacuated as we speak, as multiple reports of large scale violence and hysteria have broken out in the city of Osaka, Japan. A national warning alert was sent out by the Japanese government minutes ago, urging citizens to shelter in place in their respective homes. We are showing viewers raw video footage of zombie like humans attacking a U.S. soldier. This was taken from a military chopper. We are trying to get more information as the situation unfolds. MSNBC White House correspondent Mike Hunt brings us to the White House for a press briefing. Mike, any update? This is not a test. This network has interrupted their normal programming to participate in the national activation of the emergency alert system. All stations shall broadcast this emergency message. Please tune in for more information. The Japanese Ministry of Health. Labor and Welfare has informed that the U.S. Department of State and the CDC of unexplained reports of mass hysteria and panic among people infected with COVID 19. The CDC is currently working with health agencies across the globe and shedding light on this rare occurrence. All flights bound for Japan have been cancelled, and all inbound flights from Japan have been barred from entering the United States. The president convened an emergency meeting with all 50 state governors. Federal and state governments have agreed to deploy the National Guard to aid hospitals and medical facilities across the nation. All Americans are advised to observe existing public health measures in your local areas. No action is needed at this time. The U.S. government and the CDC will hold frequent press briefings to the American public. To obtain the most up to date news and information, make sure your mobile phones are connected to Wi Fi or mobile data or tune into your local news media outlet. Normal programming may now resume. Best for you. As always, it is important to maintain a healthy immune system and stay active. Let's live. From Studio 6B in Rockefeller Center in the heart of New York City, it's the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Hey, 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 hey! Tonight, join Jimmy and his guests.
The following message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Countries have reported incidents similar to what is occurring in Osaka, Japan. The World Health Organization has issued a warning to countries about unexplained mutations of the novel coronavirus, according to preliminary findings from Japan's Ministry of Health and Welfare. The Omega variant is a mutant strain of the coronavirus. Further reports suggest that this new strain is extremely infectious. The World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention discovered that the Omega variant has the ability to take control of a host's brain, inciting violent rage. Reported symptoms of the Omega variant are as follows, severe coughing, sweating, vomiting, an incredibly painful burning sensation in the lungs or throat, slurred speech, and chills. Anyone experiencing at least three of the symptoms listed above should self-isolate and call their local health authority. Local health officials will contact you in the coming hours if you have tested positive for COVID-19 in the last seven days. The city of Chicago has seen a massive increase of COVID-19 infections in the last 24 hours, with the Omega variant making up the majority of cases. Due to the quick spread of the Omega variant, the National Guard and armed forces in the state of Illinois are depleted, and local law enforcement is unprepared to cope with it. Because of the conditions, the Department of Defense has implemented a contingency plan designed specifically for this type of event. Illinois will be placed on a statewide lockdown as a result of this directive. All entry and exit points into and out of Illinois will be closed. In the state of Illinois, martial law has been imposed. Citizens are encouraged to stay at home and avoid non-essential travel. In order to halt the spread of the Omega variant, military forces will undertake a complete sweep of heavily populated zones. An additional alert will be sent out providing updates on the locations of government quarantine shelters. Breaking news from the United Nations headquarters in New York, where the United Nations Security Council is gathering in an emergency meeting. This high-level meeting is anticipated to be attended by leaders and ambassadors from all 193 member states, with some participating virtually. With Japan on the verge of collapse, the World Health Organization sounded the alarm of a similar scenario in other countries if the spread is not controlled. Scientists across the world are scrambling to find the cause of this yet extraordinary we apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. Normal programming has been suspended. Please stand by for a national emergency warning. This is an emergency warning. The current threat level is emergency, meaning that an emergency is in progress that will impact you and you should take immediate action now to ensure your safety. In Melbourne and Perth, there have been reports of violent attacks and mass hysteria. A contagious outbreak of the Omega variant is now occurring. Infected individuals have been reported to attack nearby humans. Numerous fatalities have occurred. Do not leave your house. Instead, seek refuge. Do not go outside. Residents in the vicinity of this city should evacuate as quickly as possible. Make sure you have enough supplies to last at least 14 days. The Australian government is doing everything to control the spread of the virus. Oh, uh, yeah. But the question is, would you rather be a vampire or a zombie? Okay, is there a right answer to this to get into Oxford? Do you want to go to Oxford? Don't ask these silly questions. <laughs> so, you know what? It, there is, there's not a right answer. They want to see how you defend it. You're writing an essay. Okay. And there are good reasons and bad reasons. So first, I want to know what you would be. I would be a vampire. <laughs> This is not a test. This message is being transmitted at the request of the State Government of California and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. This is a contagious disease warning for the state of California. At 7.58 a.m. Pacific Time, there has been a drastic increase in the novel coronavirus cases in the state of California. The Omega variant has been assigned to the majority of confirmed cases. 
The Omega variant causes the host to become aggressive and hostile. If you suspect you are infected, isolate yourself at home. If you see someone exhibiting symptoms of the Omega variant, please keep as far away from them as possible and do not approach them. If they approach or attack you, use a defensive weapon such as knives, machetes, rods, or even firearms. If an infected person is not acting aggressively, do not attempt to kill them. Many fatalities and acts of violence have been reported in downtown Los Angeles. Stay away from the downtown area and stay at home. I'd like to offer my deepest sympathies to the victims of COVID-19 and their bereaved families and all of those around the world who are fighting the disease. My gratitude also goes out to the medical staff, frontline workers, and staff members of international. 한국 방송공사를 보고 계십니다. This is CBS 7 serving the city of Houston, Texas. We are here to bring you the latest news this hour. Texas Governor Philip Smith in an unmasked press conference urged Texans to not succumb to fear. He said that the only thing to fear is fear itself. The Texas governor has mobilized the National Guard, but has not yet imposed health restrictions. The only state health restrictions is the mask mandate. CDC has advised the federal government to impose a nationwide lockdown, but some House Republicans has denounced this measure as abusive and dictatorial. This is a presidential alert issued at the request of the White House. Important details will follow. Please stand by for an automated message from the President of the United States. Cities all across the world have been hit by this deadly virus in recent days. This ruthless disease has infected tens of thousands of individuals and has reached our nation. We did not expect to witness such a large shift in virus mutation after almost two years of this global pandemic. Earlier today, the state governor of California has informed the federal government that their health care system has been overwhelmed and that a state of emergency has been declared. The infected are currently causing widespread violence and mayhem in Illinois. This is something we have never seen before, and it is difficult to articulate. But now is not the time for America to favor partisan politics nor deepen our divisions. Now is the moment for the United States to come together as a united country to fight the spread of this lethal disease. Although there is currently no cure, we advise all citizens of the United States to take all necessary precautions to avoid contracting the virus. The National Guard is currently distributing air purifying respirators or gas masks nationwide to every household. If you do not have gas masks, we recommend you to double your mask. Double masking is when you layer one mask on top of another. This creates multiple layers of protection. Make sure your mask fits snugly against your face. Gaps can let air with respiratory droplets leak in and out around the edges of the mask. Avoid non-essential outdoor travel, stay in place, and stock up on supplies that will last at least 14 days. And most importantly, do not panic. If you observe someone who appears to be infected in your area, we strongly suggest you to contact 911 right away. The federal government is doing everything it can to stop the virus from spreading. 
I have ordered the cancellation of all domestic and international flights joined with the closure of our international borders with Mexico and Canada, to protect our country from further transmission, these drastic measures will go into effect at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. All American citizens abroad who wish to return to the United States should call the nearest U.S. Embassy or consulate to be evacuated, since all U.S. Embassies and consulates will be evacuated, we salute the front lines and all who are serving this great nation. May God protect the world and the United States of America. As the Omega wave crashes across the world, nations are being pushed to the brink of collapse. With Japan, Australia and South Korea partially devastated, new findings in China emerge as a Chinese doctor posted a 10-minute video on Facebook regarding the contagious and lethal variant. Dr. Mary Wu from Shenzhen said that a huge laboratory leak in a Chinese virology lab led to the emergence of the Omega variant. Beijing is said to have been suppressing vital information about the leak. On the other hand, the U.S. State Department said that they have intelligence on the matter and will help. We interrupt our programming. This is a biological hazard warning. Important details will follow. Nous interrompons notre programmation. Il s'agit d'un avertissement de danger biologique. Des détails importants suivront. Le message suivant est transmis à la demande du gouvernement provincial de l'Alberta. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the provincial government of Alberta. This is an urgent message regarding a province-wide water contamination. Provincial authorities have reported of a contamination in the Gold Bar Waste Water Treatment Plant. An outbreak of the Omega variant has been reported in the plant. This may lead to contamination of Alberta's water supply. The said treatment of plant connects to five other water outputs, that is serving the city of Edmonton and Calgary. This is a do not use water advisory. All Alberta residents should not drink or use water from anything connected to their water supply lines. Water and ice dispensers in your refrigerator, freezer, and dishwasher are included. Contaminants cannot be removed by boiling. Use bottled water as an alternative source of safe drinking water. You should also use bottled water for cooking brushing teeth, preparing food or giving water to pets, disposable plates, cups, and utensils should be used. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol to wash your hands. If you have ingested tap water during the past 5 minutes and is experiencing symptoms of the Omega variant, call 911 immediately. For this reason, the following actions should be taken. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the President has declared the continental United States under martial law. A nationwide curfew of 7 p.m. tonight has been put into effect, and any citizen caught outdoors between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. is subject to arrest and detention without counsel. All reserve military personnel and National Guard are ordered to report for immediate deployment. All law enforcement, firefighting, and emergency personnel will be federalized effective immediately. All communications facilities, including the use of landline and cellular telephone facilities, will be reserved for military and rescue operations. In order to halt the spread of this contagion, our nation... The BBC has issued an emergency broadcast. Please pay attention, as emergency information will be broadcast shortly. 
The BBC has issued an emergency broadcast. Please pay attention, as emergency information will be broadcast shortly. This emergency broadcast is being transmitted at the request of Her Majesty's government. The Omega variant is rapidly spreading across the United Kingdom. According to the UK Health Security Agency, the healthcare system has collapsed. The infected are reported to attack nearby humans, causing widespread chaos in the central London area. Martial law and a nationwide state of emergency has been declared. Everyone are advised to avoid heavily populated zones and remain indoors. Lock and board entrances and exits in your homes or place of shelter. These include windows, crawl spaces, or any open exposed area. Have an emergency plan and kit ready. Make sure you have enough supplies to last for at least 14 days. The Omega variant is a lethal and infectious variant of the novel coronavirus. Fever and chills, vomiting blood, convulsions, jerking muscles, delusions and hallucinations, insanity and a lack of coordination in physical movement are among the new symptoms reported. The armed forces will execute a quick sweep of the cities of London and Manchester, putting them on heavy lockdown. In the event of a power outage, tune your battery-powered radio to 543.8 am for updates. For the safety of our news crew, the BBC News Channel will cease operations. Our simultaneous news broadcast will continue via BBC Radio 97 to 99 FM and will serve the whole United Kingdom. The Royal Anthem will be played at the end of this broadcast. We're showing our viewers mayhem and panic captured on a live stream camera in New York City's Times Square earlier today. People are seen fleeing as the city of New York descends into anarchy. Earlier, the president declared martial law across the country, mobilizing the armed forces. Los Angeles, Chicago and Houston has fallen. Our news crew is in a state of shock and awe, as we have never seen anything like this. Thousands of Americans are being evacuated from cities on the West Coast as we speak. Heavy and standstill traffic can be observed on the La Mirada Freeway in California. This is CNN. We will continue to provide the most up-to-date news to Americans 24-7 during this global catastrophe, as long as circumstances permits. This is not a test. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States Armed Forces. This is a law enforcement warning. The President of the United States and the United States Congress have enacted a nationwide martial law that applies to all 50 states in the continental United States. This will be in effect at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Martial law is a temporary rule by military authorities in time of national emergencies, when traditional means of maintaining social order are no longer sufficient for keeping the public safe. All residents are prohibited from leaving their homes without proper consent from authorities. Every citizen is required to remain indoors. Lock any doors and windows, and make sure you have enough food and water to last you for the duration of your stay at home.
If you are away from home, you are given the next three hours to return to your residence before law officials begin to take action. If you are more than three hours away from your place of residence, you will be required to get an escort from local authorities. You will have rations from the government delivered to your household every week, including seven days' worth of non-perishable food, water and emergency supplies. If you start to show signs of the Omega variant, contact the authorities right away. You'll be transferred to a safe location and quarantined and monitored. If you show severe symptoms, you will be executed as a safety precaution. Failure to comply will result in dire consequences and severe legal punishment. All modes of transportation will be shut down, as will roads and highways. Businesses, privately owned institutions, and public facilities will also be closed. This will be enforced by a legion of National Guard troops. If you conspire with others or attempt to violate these laws, you will be shot on sight. These emergency laws are meant to be taken extremely seriously. At this time, there is no clear time frame for when the restrictions will be lifted. The U.S. government will do everything possible to prevent this virus from spreading throughout the population. The United States Armed Forces appreciate your cooperation. Exiges para resolverla. Buenas tardes, doctora. Buenas tardes. Yo vengo demandando a mi papá porque quiero la emancipación, quiero, me quiero casar y él está en contra de eso. Yo trabajo, yo estudio y creo que soy lo suficientemente madura como para ya tener mi emancipación, ya que él no está de acuerdo conmigo y no quiere estar en paz conmigo. Gobierno de México. Alerta de emergencia. Los detalles importantes seguirán. Alerta de emergencia. Los detalles importantes seguirán. Este es un mensaje del Gobierno de México. La variante Omega ha ingresado a nuestro país. Nuestra frontera con la ciudad estadounidense de El Paso, Texas, ha sido violada. Donde hay un gran número de personas, habrá un gran número de infectados. Los ciudadanos de Baja California, Sonora, Chihuahua, Coahuila, Nuevo León y Tamaulipas deben evacuar ahora. Se recomienda a todos permanecer en un refugio y evitar salir al aire libre. El presidente ha declarado estado de emergencia en los 33 estados mexicanos. El ejército se hará cargo de todas las ciudades para evitar una mayor transmisión del virus. La variante Omega incita a una furia homicida en la persona infectada y, en general, los infectados son imposibles de contener. El presidente hablará en todas las estaciones en breve. Ты готов ломать себя до изнеможения. Каждый день здесь боль закаляет. Шрамы, повседневность. Это ты решил себе что-то доказать. Командир здесь только для того, чтобы ты мог увидеть в нем врага. Потому что без врага нет боя, а без боя нет победы. Но на самом деле, главный враг — это ты. Вчерашний ты. Твоя задача — выследить врага, догнать его, превзойти, стать лучше, чем он, и вернуться назад победителем. Потому что завтра первый день твоей новой жизни. Это экстренное сообщение правительства Российской Федерации. Пожалуйста, подождите для получения более подробной информации. Вариант Омега активизировался, 
Теперь случаи регистрируются в Москве, Санкт-Петербурге, Екатеринбурге и Казани. Президент Российской Федерации приказал закрыть наши национальные границы. Вооруженные силы Российской Федерации формируют блокаду на границе России с Украиной и Белоруссией. Все должны оставаться в своих домах, будет введено государственное нормирование. Любое нарушение этого повлечет за собой строгое законное наказание. Breaking news this hour, UN General Assembly is holding an emergency session regarding what could be done to further stop the Omega variant as many countries have collapsed. Panic buying and chaos has been reported in multiple French cities as the government announces a nationwide lockdown and evacuation of major cities. This comes after French President Dubois confirmed that local transmission of the Omega variant is occurring. Earlier, the health minister has confirmed that 60 cases were reported in Paris, prompting panic and riots in the city. Il s'agit d'un avertissement d'abri sur place. Cette alerte signifie que vous devez agir immédiatement. La frontière franco-espagnole a été violée. Des hostiles ont été signalés pour attaquer les humains à proximité qu'ils rencontrent. Les forces armées françaises ont été renforcées pour repousser la horde de personnes infectées en provenance d'Espagne. Toutes les villes proches de la frontière franco-espagnole doivent évacuer immédiatement. Les forces armées vous conduiront en lieu sûr. There's never been a more critical time. Fox News Media brings America together. America is watching. News and fearless debate. We are invested in you. From Wall Street to Main Street. Welcome to Fox News. This is Sandra Smith. And I am John Roberts. And we will deliver to you the latest news via radio transmission. As millions of Americans are under martial law and have been confined to their homes, the CDC has given the Omega variant its own name, categorizing it as not part of the coronavirus family. After discovery that this virus is a rare and mutant pathogen, it has been dubbed Omega E21 virus. Scientists are working intensively to find a cure for this disease. The majority of developing and underdeveloped countries have collapsed according to information given by the U.S. State Department. Here's a list among them, from Asia, India, Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. From Europe, France, Spain, Greece, Lithuania, Ukraine, Belarus, and Poland. John, I will interrupt you for a second. We have an incoming emergency transmission. The emergency alert system will take precedence over our regular programming. We will return. This is a presidential alert issued at the request of the White House. Important details will follow.
My fellow Americans. We have lost almost 500,000 people during these past few days, they are someone's mother, father, brother or sister. As governments around the world toppled, we saw the face of catastrophe. In these times, those of you listening to this broadcast, the remaining citizens of the United States, should stand strong and fight not only for our country, but for humanity. Earlier today, the CDC director and other top scientists have informed me that the Omega E21 virus has intensified. Anyone infected with this virus will almost surely become animalistic and violent within an hour of receiving it, according to research. At this rate, two in every four persons in the United States is expected to contract the virus and develop into a zombie-like state. I also regret to inform you that we have lost communication with the National Guard and armed forces in the Midwestern United States. All residents of Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin are encouraged to seek shelter in their houses and not to rely on local police or military troops for protection and assistance. Block all outdoor doors and windows to reduce the likelihood of Omega E21 particles entering your home. At the moment, the outside environment is highly dangerous. You might contract the virus if you stay outdoors without any kind of protection. The number of cases is increasing, and our emergency and armed services personnel are short-staffed at this moment. The U.S. government is presently formulating a strategy for providing assistance to Americans. May God lead the world through these tough times and keep us safe from this sickness. May God bless the United States of America. Attention. To all living citizens of the former United States, please ensure that your device is audible. The information contained in this broadcast is critical to your safety and future. To all remaining citizens of the United States, we regret to tell the American people that the 50th President of the United States has passed away. Members of the U.S. government's executive, legislative and judicial branches have been decimated. Vice President Bill Baker has been sworn in as the President. In the 273rd year of our independence, the surviving cabinet members of the executive branch have agreed to form a new government. The provisional government of America will be governed under the same principles of our founding fathers, liberty, justice, and freedom. The Omega E21 virus has spread across the whole country at an inconceivable rate. According to our latest estimates, the infected has outnumbered the living. The pathogen has infected about 75% of the population. The provisional government of America lacks the necessary armed forces and service members. As a result, we shall discontinue our rationing efforts. We recognize that these drastic steps are incomprehensible to all remaining citizens of this great country, but we have no alternative since all three branches of government have collapsed. The provisional government of America will utilize the former United States nuclear arsenal to combat the infected. These steps will ensure that the infected are wiped out across the country. On February 25th at 1 a.m. Eastern Time, eradication strikes will be launched on the cities marked with red bullets across the continental United States. All I ask of everyone is to not lose hope. The provisional government of America has designated 10 underground advanced bunkers for non-infected individuals. These bunkers have a capacity of 10,000 people. 
If you are still alive, healthy, and uninfected, we will provide the addresses and coordinates for these shelters. All citizens are subjected to extensive screening and a 14-day quarantine. Since power and cell towers are still operational throughout the East Coast, we urge that you contact these numbers to confirm and verify your location and state before traveling to these shelters. The Provisional Government of America will send QR barcodes to your phone in order for you to get admitted. You will be given three days to register. Registration will start on February 21st, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and will end on February 24th, 12 o'clock noon. We will not receive applications after the cutoff date. We ask everyone to evacuate to shelters in a cautious and lawful manner. Continental martial rule is still being enforced under the Provisional Government of America. All laws and amendments that protects your human rights have been suspended. Anyone caught committing acts of aggression or treason against the Government of America shall be executed accordingly. We thank you for cooperating with the Provisional Government of America. The Lord will be our light, the United States of America will rise again. The emergency alert system of the former U.S. government will cease operations under the new Provisional Government of America. The Provisional Government has set up a new emergency notification system. All future alerts will be broadcasted via emergency population warning. All future alerts will be sent on Channel 10 and 453 FM nationwide. The anthem of the Provisional Government of America will conclude the final broadcast of the emergency alert system.